recognize our young Aboriginals in Ottawa tonight. Today's meeting was about one thing, the health of, La the health of Labradorians. The conversations that we had today by all four leaders, I would say, have come to a remarkable conclusion. There has been some challenging but necessary decisions on a very challenging process to get us where we are right now. Difficult situations shape and define us. And today that we have proven that we are strong leaders, strong enough to be able to find a way to work together toward a solution. The province of Newfoundland and Labrador in partnership with the three groups, have found common ground on a lot of concerns, a lot of different issues today. Concerns of our Aboriginal leaders and their communities. We have provided you with a statement of what we have agreed to. Things like releasing water in the spring of 2017, and this is about phase one impoundment the water 
up until today would have not necessarily been released. We've made a commitment and have ordered Nalcor to release the water from phase one impoundment. We have released and provided the Aboriginal leaders with all engineering reports that was needed for phase one impoundment. Also today, we've agreed to put in place an independent expert advisory committee. This will be guided by made up of provincial, federal, municipal, and indigenous groups. Going forward, decisions will be made using science-based research. This will dictate all decisions going forward. Today hasn't been easy, but we want to thank everyone for waiting for our outcomes. At one point or another, we have all had concerns about this project. As, oppo as opposition leader, I opposed and led the longest filibuster in the history of this province on this very project. But our government is committed to working in partnership with the leaders here today, and we are confident that we can achieve the goals that have been outlined. So thank you. I'll now ask Grand Chief QP for, to make a few opening comments. Good evening, and uh, I would like to thank the Premier for um, inviting us to this um, very important meeting. And um, today, um, Inu Nation supports the decisions that were taken today. And Inu Nation has been one of ensuring that decisions are founded in good science. This development is in the heart of our Inu of our land claim area and is extremely important to the Inu. We've reached an agreement that will protect the health of our people and our environment. And my thoughts have been with the young people that are in Ottawa and those back home. And uh, I would also like to thank, it was a very nice gesture from a member of uh, Nunatuvut who gave us a token of a, a a medicine, um, a traditional medicine token for our meetings. So I'm very grateful for that. And um, we'll we'll be taking part in the independent uh, expert advisory committee. Indonesian will appoint an expert to that committee as well. And also, what's very important is that I will ensure through Indonesian that our elders are incorporated throughout this. Thank you. Even my shawm, the metal shawm, the cheap one yang, eh, man yang. Even my shawm, the metal shawm, the cheap one yang, ah, kushyang. Let's send them on a man to cheat out man. Me cheat man. Wow, we the man. Es penya. Eh, new ya. The man, I was shy. Deep in my 
Nigiteri Lutik, Nama Singuti Hayut Tamat Swinga, Pichutayamik Pili Gochi, Delilah Saunders, Amalu Jeremy as Callmeister, Amalu Tauk Asingit, Nama Singitut Tavani, Amalu Tauk Regret to Mute. Tamat semua, hari tua mata, inu singit, pungi tua mut, piye orang kaya kau ingat, ila laba dry mut, ilu nutik, inu hati ka, ikhwan melukit, nak memik siapa yang orang kata ulum. Thank you, Premier Ball, for this meeting with Indonesian leader. Anastasia Kupi, and also Nuneto Havut leader, Todd Russell. Today was a, a very tense and happy, happy day for all concerned. And we are thinking of our young people who have put their lives on line to protest against the Muskrat Falls project. Our thoughts are with Billy Goche, Delilah Saunders, and Jeremy S. Kohlmeister, and also to the land protectors who are within the project site and also those who are outside, on the road, or at the gates, and anywhere within the province of Newfoundland and Labrador across Canada, the work that you have done has made progress. And we are very happy to say to, to Labrador Inuit in Rigolet, that your work also has made progress. And more certainly, to our Labrador Inuit, your push to get us to the table with the Premier and the other leaders has made progress. And now we feel that all the work that we did today will be done together and as people of Newfoundland and Labrador to help each other to look after the health, the well-being, the culture, the way of life of Labrador Inuit and other Aboriginal groups. <laughs>
Well, good morning. My name is uh, Todd Russell, and I'm the president of the Nunatuavut Community Council. It's an honor for me to stand with my colleagues from Labrador, Joannes Lamp, the president of Nunatsiavut, Anastasia Kupi, Grand Chief of the Inu Nation, and the leader of the province, Premier Dwight Ball. When we went into this meeting today, we put at the center of the table the focus of our discussion, the health of our people, the protection of our way of life, and the preservation of our culture. And we took the view that we had to make change and we had to make progress to ensure that the impacts of methylmercury were minimized and that our food could be secured, our culture maintained. This was at the heart of our discussions today. I am confident that the proposal that we have agreed upon, the approach that we are taking going forward, will ensure these things. And I'm thinking about our people back home, those inside the gate, those outside the gate. I think about our young people who walked in the driving rain, sleet and snow to participate in a movement for change because it was about their health and well-being. I'm thinking about our elders who brought us to where we are today and how I believe that they can have confidence that the traditions that they have preserved will now be handed from generation to generation. And I think about the breastfeeding moms who came to the protest and said, I'm thinking about future generations. And I believe we have made progress. The decisions that will be made going forward will not be at the whim of government. They will be made by science, and it will incorporate 
the traditional knowledge of our people. This is a huge step forward. We have a commitment that if the science says that the soils must be removed, there is a commitment that the soils will be removed. That is significant. We have a commitment that if initial flooding is required and the levels, the water levels rise, they will be brought back down again so that mitigation can happen in that initial flood zone. This is progress. So I want to say to all of those who have walked, who have advocated, the land protectors, that you have made progress, that you have achieved much of what you have set out to achieve. And I want to acknowledge the individual sacrifices of so many, so many people in, who have made their contribution in their own way. So it is a good day, a good morning. And this done right will certainly make Musrat right. So I, I thank you for your patience. I thank our people. Nakamik.
take three hunger strikers and protesters physically occupying the Muskrat Falls site before your government was willing to consider these measures? This has been a, a long process. I would go back to nearly uh, in September, really, which is when we had meetings with uh, our Aboriginal leaders, and we've had ongoing discussions for quite some time. I will say that the health of Labradorians has always been a priority for this government. And the decisions that we made today really brings to a conclusion a, a number of discussions and consultations that we've had on this, on this project. The name is the word advisory. Are you committed to implementing whatever this committee recommends, or will government still have the final say in whether or not some of the measures get implemented? Government always has the final say. Uh, governments never put uh, their decisions in the hands of, of committees. Muestra de